So let's find out that why I have purchased this huge, strong, powerful and heavy 1200 GS BMW. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know it was recording already. So, hello, hi, welcome to my channel. First of all, the name of BMW is a very well known, very famous brand all over the world. I think everybody knows about BMW. And the reason this name from my childhood, let's just go pass by. The name of BMW hacked in my mind from my childhood, perhaps when I was at secondary school and high school. And I have witnessed that the high officials of government, presidents and prime ministers always was escorting by a group of police officers that they are all riding and escorting the officials by BMW. Then I thought there must be a reason that why they have chosen BMW and I thought that it is the German engineering solid powerful and resilient machine is behind and I got the image and the sense that it must be very enduring and powerful motorbike that they have chosen this motorbike when I came to London I also noticed that all police force in London are riding the BMW it gives me the impression that there must be a reason that why all the police force are chosen the BMW but why this particular bike which is GS to be honest I did not know all I know that I wanted to bike for adventure travel and I thought I want a bike which must be resilient and tough off-road and on road and for long journey and then I found out about the BMW R1200 GS adventure motorbike as you can see the name is coming R1200 and GS yes this bike is heavy this bike is powerful and this bike is strong. This morning I was coming from home and the motorbike did not have enough petrol. Then I decided to top up the petrol. And can you see this massive tank? I put some petrol and as the bike is heavy it became more heavier than I thought what a huge tank which contains lots of fuel that it can help you to do a long journey and above all this bike was tall when I first bought my foot 
did not reach on the ground and I did not have the confidence to ride the motorbike. So as you can see, my seat is curved down. This is not the actual seat of GS 1200. So I customized the seat. Now, thanks God, my foot does reach the ground and it gives me a huge, huge and massive confidence to ride on the road. This bike is more than 10 years old bike. It is not the most modern adventure bike. But however, I decided to go ahead to purchase this bike. And the reason why I found that everything I want in a motorbike, this motorbike has got it. It has well maintained, well kept and well looked after. And above all, it had a very low mileage, 29,000 miles. Then I thought it is phenomenal, it's great. And it has got a pannier, two pannier in the back. You can see now, right and left, which is perfect for adventure travel. And the top box as well. So the bike was in a great condition. I do understand that the new bike is coming with lots of modern and fancy stuff. I think the new one has got satellite satnav and also it has a tire gauge pressure and some other modern stuff which this bike does not have it. But these are not that much important for me to spend more than 20 or 15,000 pounds for the motorbike. The most important thing for me is a solid engine. With this engine is absolutely great and it has got this crash bar on the left and right hand side. The most important thing for the bike is the strength, the power, the resilience, the performance that this bike is absolutely has it. The motorbike does not have a cruise control for speed, which is which I love it to be honest. Because when you ride on the motorway and you keep riding, the cruise control is very, very crucial and vital. But unfortunately, this bike does not have it. But for the low budget price, I'm quite happy with this bike. This bike is, has got only 29,000 mileage on the audiometer, but I'm sure it will get me through the travel as I'm hoping I can manage to ride to up to 70 or 80 or 100 because these bikes are strong and powerful and they can go beyond 100,000 mileage if it's going to be maintained well kept and well looked after this motorbike it's just sometimes makes me very very worried so heavy you cannot really easily push it if it's fully loaded but however it magically and surprisingly become weightless once you start riding this motorbike it's so much easy and phenomenal absolutely 
that I thought, no, no matter how big, how heavy the bike is, I can get on with it. Super. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe the channel. I will talk about for next video why I have chosen the solo travel or adventure travel. And I will tell my story that what has made me to embark on this journey despite of the fact that everybody has got lots of lots of responsibilities family mortgage house work and you name it so let's find out for the next video